Hey, what's up? It's Heaven Hollywood, and we are back. Welcome to Take It or Leave It podcast. Today, we're going to be discussing Chloe Bailey and the fake outrage of black women, mostly. But if it's not black women, the, the second with the majority, the second majority of people that hate on Chloe Bailey are gay men. All right. So Chloe Bailey, look, just get to speak. Chloe Bailey is a member of the group Chloe and Holly. Uh, Holly's her sister. They came up under Beyonce's uh, Parkwood, what is it, Parkwood Entertainment? So they're pretty much Beyonce's artists. And Chloe is, you know, is, is Beyonce's artist. She patents herself and she's been developed to come up like uh be like Sasha Fierce. Like Beyonce once wanted to make Chloe Sasha Fierce. Right? So pretty much the things that Beyonce couldn't do as Beyonce and she needed Sasha Fierce to do it. That's pretty much what um you know what what Chloe is, pretty much. So all this persona, the sexual persona, whatever, that's what Beyonce wished she could have did early in her career. So she's been putting out singles. Have Mercy was her first single. I thought it was dope. It was a lot of anticipation for it. A lot of promo for it. I don't really remember how far it went down in the top, in the in the Hot 100. May have been in the 20s, may have been in the 30s. I don't really remember. But it didn't get the top 10. Ever since then, it seems as though, like, people have been hating on Chloe. But... Trying to, you know, um, defend her sister. Trying to uplift her sister. When Chloe has been working hard, she's singing, she's producing, she's writing, she's doing choreograph. She's putting in the video ideas. Like, she's got her hands in, you know, all all the uh, creativity process of her, of her projects. Not a lot of women her age are doing that right now. She's probably the most hands-on and the most has the most input on their projects. Now her singles that she's had out have been pretty good singles, but everyone in social media has just been dragging, dragging, dragging this woman, finding all sorts of reasons to continue to drag her. Now she puts out a song with Chris Brown, right? And I mean, I said in my video, when I heard that they had a song coming out, I said in my video, you watch people start trying to put that fake outrage in. Oh, see, this is why I don't like her. Because she did a song with Chris Brown. Now, the Chris Brown song is just not coming out. But isn't this the same Chris Brown? That just two months ago, or, or, or three months ago, however long it was, a few months ago, when the AMAs shut him down from doing the performance on AMAs, all of a sudden, all the black people started rallying behind Chris Brown. Oh, they're trying to, they're stopping him from, from doing a tribute to Michael Jackson. They're trying to stop him from doing a tribute to Michael Jackson. Now, all of a sudden, everybody was, all oh, Chris Brown, he got more views he got more views in that uh, the performance he was supposed to do than the AMAs got. Oh, always trying to stop a black man from doing this, a black man from doing that. Now, this is the same Chris Brown that y'all dragged Kelly Rowland for defending. But when it was the AMAs, y'all were defending Chris Brown. But then when Kelly Rowland came to his defense, then y'all started dragging Kelly Rowland 
for defending Chris Brown. But you were just defending Chris Brown. So now why when Kelly Rowland and Sierra and all of them came to his defense, why all of a sudden then were you dragging those women? Oh, so let, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Black women can't defend him. Black women can't defend him. But if a white person comes at him and says you cannot perform because of your history, this, that, and the other, then y'all start bringing up, well, what about Elvis Presley? Well, what about Jimmy Page? Well, what about Jerry Lee Lewis? Start talking about them. Then y'all start defending Chris Brown. But then when a, when a, a dark-skinned woman or a brown-skinned woman defends Chris Brown, oh, why are you defending that colorist? Fake outrage. Did anybody drag Drake? He worked with Chris Brown. How many times has Nicki Minaj worked with Chris Brown? Hmm. I don't ever remember Nicki Minaj getting dragged. Those songs were great songs. I don't ever remember her getting dragged. So why is it that when Kelly Rowland defends him, or now Chloe Bailey has got a some kind of song coming out with him. Normani was in his video. They dragged Normani for being in the music video. Oh, he doesn't even like black women. What do you care? I'm sure Normani has heard the rumors. I'm sure Normani has heard uh, people saying he's a colorist. She did not seem to mind. So why did you? <clears throat> Rihanna has, has already forgiven him. Rihanna's family has forgiven him. So why are you still holding a grudge against Chris Brown? But other people you've forgiven. Oh, you, but, but you forgive Kanye West. For saying slavery's a choice. And Harriet Tugman's a fraud. You don't even care about that no more. Right? You don't care that Kanye West. Don't care for no black people. You don't care that Kanye West don't date no black women. That's okay. You never call him a colorist. Never. Oh Kanye. Oh Kanye real. Never call him that. This is my take on it. The women who drag Chloe Bailey, who don't like Chloe Bailey, you adjust. I'm not even calling them black women. You are black, bitter heifers. That's right, I said it. Want me to repeat it? I'm not talking about the black women out there who fend for black women. And who don't give a damn about whether a girl light skin or dark skin. I'm a bad chick myself. And so I don't care what, what a complexion. I'm, I'm not talking about those women. I'm not told, talking about those women who say I'm a bad chick myself. I don't care what complexion this one is. I'm talking about those black bitter heifers that women like Chloe that got bodies like Chloe. Either they man done left them for, or they man is lusting over. You see, Holly is safe. Holly don't have a body like Chloe. That's why everyone uh, loves Holly, because Holly isn't the guy, isn't the girl that your that your man gonna leave you for. Chloe is, and you're jealous, you're envious, and you're bitter. Because it could, there's no other reason. She don't bother nobody. She don't got a fake body. So you can't say, oh, she's not natural. She don't have a fake body. Her body's natural. She's not light skin. When everybody told her, oh, cut your dreads, 
she continued on. She does. She continued on with her dreads. After people said, "Cut your dreads," it's not going to trans. You know, it's not going to transition over to to the uh to white to you know to the mainstream. It may not have, but she still has them. And you people bullied and harassed that girl into making that corny behind song, Pray For Me or whatever the hell. And, and I told y'all that song wasn't going to go. She didn't want to make that song, but she's like, oh, they're always complaining about me taking my clothes off. And they're always complaining about me talking about sex and being ratchet. So I'm not going to do it on this record. And what y'all, y'all still in streaming. But y'all love black women. Y'all always talk about, oh, shouldn't do that to a black woman. It's only the black woman that you root for. But y'all steady dragging other black women. And you gay dudes, you should stay out of women's business. Because I don't give a damn if you like cock or not. You ain't no woman. So stay out of women business. Trying to incite it. I'm, I'm trying to get all the women together. That's what my videos have been about. I'm trying to get all the women together. I'm, I'm pulling for all the women. They've been running the game. I'm pulling for all the women. But all y'all want to see, y'all want to continue to be uh, uh, push drama. You want to continue to push beef. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Chloe Bailey and Chris Brown, two of the most talented people right now, have a record coming out. And instead of embracing it, saying, yes, we're going to stream this. Real talent. Y'all are going to try to drag it down. Probably leak a record. And talk about, oh, he's a colorist. He's an abuser. You shouldn't make a record with him. Jealous. Bitter. Black. Heifers. I said what I said. Take it or leave it.